What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Diablo Moral video. Today I want to actually apologize to all of you for some of the misinformation I had in yesterday's video. Although I did share a bunch of my findings from the update in that video that I thought was actually valid information, there were a few things that I put in that video that were actually wrong information. One was about the runes, and the other one was regarding the Battle Pass cosmetic inside of the game. So I'm going to make good on all of that today. I appreciate you guys coming through the comments section, letting me know that some of that information was wrong. In full transparency, I was trying to record a video really quickly before I had to get my youngest on the bus so I could not miss my upload for the day before work. And it was just, unfortunately, I rushed it quicker than I should have. And I didn't really put the, uh, the time into that video that I should have. Apologize for that. That won't happen again so we do have the new battle pass that launches today remember a lot of times when we get these updates details don't come and information about it doesn't come and actually features don't come on that day but now we have the new battle pass and the new battle pass as i mentioned in yesterday's video i said that it was going to be the wolf but again the wolf cosmetic was not actually the battle pass cosmetic instead it's the torment upon torment cosmetic you see it on all of the classes right here above this is what the cosmetic actually looks like which i actually think looks fairly decent so we could actually take a look at that in the battle pass right now as i'm going to be jumping into it uh for the first time myself so we're going to be claiming the battle pass today of course but let's take a look at what this cosmetic actually looks like first things first at least on my necromancer so we could all get a, a live look all right, it's decent looking. We could take off the helm. Yes, we can. It actually changes, again, look at it. It changes the skin color, not only on the face, but on the chest as well. So pretty cool. I like how it does have that effect and changes more than just the uh, the just the just gear that they wear. It's a nice addition, in my opinion. Now, speaking of cosmetics, I was in the shop yesterday, and I noticed that there was something in the shop that... I didn't know it was there. I went to cosmetics. I was looking for that new wolf cosmetic. And check this out. This Children of Anarius cosmetic apparently is free due to a previous purchase. So I didn't know that I had this available to me for free. So let's see if I can claim it right here. It's going to give me the armor, the weapon. It, it's actually times seven. It seems that this is like cross class. I wonder if I'm able to get it on all of my classes. So it was free due to the previous purchase. It's now going to be on my Necromancer. When I switch to another class, I'm going to see if it's going to be on that class as well. Because I honestly am not sure. Let's go uh, take a look right now. Yeah, we are totally rocking that. Which is pretty sweet. It's one of my favorite cosmetics that's not a Phantom Market cosmetic in all of the game. It was gifted to me and I always appreciate when people do things like that, but pretty sweet looking cosmetic. I love the halo. I love the shield. We'll be rocking this one, at least as we run around today, as you guys know that I always run around with different cosmetics. So it, apparently uh, that one is cross class, although I did not think that it was. I'll know for sure when I switch classes again to something that doesn't have that and to see if it's available there. That's how we'll find out. So now i also spoke about the runes and how the orange runes were in the game which i don't know why i said that because i'm actually wearing an orange rune and i have been for a while so i again brain fart moment these runes are not new we do have the new runes they're going to be red runes dropping in approximately nine days from today so my advice though is the same for runes these hold quite a bit of value this is probably the best rune in the game right now and it's valued at 71,000 platinum. At least that's what it's listed for. Whether it's valued at that and people would buy it at that or not, that's up for us to decide. But when these red ones come out, they are going to be of high value, over 100,000 platinum, probably more than that. So if you do get them, it may not be a bad idea for you to just throw it up on the market and get some value out of it right away. And it also looks like... <laughs> it looks like these, uh, these gems are gaining their value back. The Susan Express, as we like to call it, has not really been as big of a factor inside of Diablo Immortal as it had been a few months back. The uh, gem prices are coming back, so that's nice. I need to get myself one more Gloom Cask. I did sell my three-star, and actually, as I'm looking at it now, as the points, as the values come back up, I'm probably going to actually take a loss on that, but 
hey, is what it is. So there was one other thing I wanted to talk about, and that was when you log into the game, you'll notice this screen. This is the login screen when you come in, when everything is loading. And there's some things that I wanna just take a look at really quickly in here. Now, this is not a new image. I mean, I'm sorry, this is not an old image because as you can see, there is a Blood Knight in the center and there's a Tempest up top. But there are two things of note here that I quite liked. Now, this could very much just be a piece of artwork that is nothing important. This could just be a piece of art that has no implication of what's to happen inside of the game. But I did wanna show you right here, take a look at that, at the, um, Barbarian and take a look. Uh oh. Excuse me. And take a look at the Necromancer. Both of them are wielding a one handed weapon. Each of them, well, the Necromancer doesn't have his shield and the Barbarian doesn't have his second weapon. Could this mean that we're going to have one handed stronger weapons coming to the game? I know that this was kind of. Uh, discussed and shared that it could potentially be coming, but um, it was never confirmed. This image says maybe something like that is coming. I would welcome that. I don't know how it would work. It would be a little bit weird with how our class spots are, right? With how our, our gear slots are. But see, I do have an orange rune right here. But uh, it would be very welcomed by me to have a different type of weapon come into the game. In addition, there's one more thing that we wanted to talk about here today, and that is the rumor that the double drop, what is it, the uh, the two times legendary gem drop event is going to be coming back to Diablo Immortal upon the next update. I have no confirmation of this. Apparently, this was from a different server that this news came out. If you recall, we did just get the double uh, two times legendary event approximately two weeks ago. Um, so... What I always try to do is I always try to have a handful of legendary crests in my back pocket. I try to have at least 10. As you can see, I have 17 red. I have five purple. For the two times event, it doesn't matter what color they are. The duplicated gems are always going to be bound to you. Even if you are getting gems duplicated from your purples that you can then sell, the duplicated gems are always going to be bound so you can't sell them. It's still great value, specifically when you're someone like me that is short on gems, needs gem power so I can get this final this final gem right over here up to the proper level. Trying to get this right here up to a rank 5 so I could awaken that slot with my Dawning Echo that we just have sitting here. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Sitting here and waiting to be used. So I welcome a two times event. What I would recommend you do is start saving up your legendary crests in case it does happen. It's always good to have 10 on hand. And an easy way to get two per week is one right here. You can get with platinum, your regular legendary crest, and then the eternal legendary crest right up here for 1600 platinum as well. If you engage in a warband activity, specifically Heliquary with four players or more. And now that we're going to be able to get more people in our warbands, uh, that should be easier for you guys to do right and also people were saying that it was not showing online status of people although right now as you can see myself solinari green dots we are online so that is if it was not working yesterday it is working now i love that we have a few extra slots so that we can get a couple of friends in there it would be cool if we could do hell aquarium with four extra people that's not the case it just gave us some leeway with who we have that can join us in these events. And last thing I wanted to touch on, yesterday I stated that when I was doing my dungeons, it wasn't counting my my damage in the damage meter for my skills. It was counting it all as one chunk on the bottom. Um, and that was still happening as of last night. I have not run a dungeon yet this morning, um, but I am asking you guys, is that happening for you as well? I also don't love how it pops out in the screen. I think that it's a little bit obtrusive on the actual, it literally is taking up the entire side of the screen, kind of like my camera is right now. And it intrudes on what we're actually supposed to be seeing. So I prefer if it would be underneath all of this stuff here, even over the, the chat, would be a little bit less obtrusive. 
But that's my update for the day. I hope you guys can understand um, and uh, accept my apology for yesterday's mistakes. I hate when that kind of thing happens and when misinformation comes out. And I hate it even more when it's myself that does it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and uh, enjoy some Diablo Immortal. I'll see you in game.